Network. We've got another interesting matchup on the way as Oscar Smith taking on Grafton in this matchup. Oscar Smith at number four in states in 6A, taking on a Grafton team ranked number one in states in 4A. Yeah, two teams highly thought of in the Tidewater area, and it'll be Grafton in the home white here taking on Oscar Smith. Clavon Green, the sophomore with the outside jumper. It's wet early on. <laughs> a good start for the Clippers as they're taking on an Oscar Smith team that's had great success early on this year. And it's been led by a couple of players, most notably Nigel Ribeiro, as going inside the shot is going to be rejected by Evan Sperling. He says, get that shot out of here. UVA baseball signing, getting it done on the hardwood, too. And there's a steal by Darren Pugh for Oscar Smith. And the spin move, the ball will roll around the rim and through the net. It may not be the home court, but it certainly works as it's 16-13, the early advantage for Grafton. Oscar Smith back the other way as Nigel Ribeiro gets hot from deep as he hits the long range J. Remember, Nigel had 41 in that Kingsport gym earlier this season. He can get it going from the outside quickly, and there's a follow on the miss by Daquan Copeland. Tigers hanging around there, and now with a 20 to 19 lead, a slim one on Grafton. Going into the second quarter, we'll see if the Clippers can respond as they look to go down low to Sperling. And he is no match by the undersized Tigers defense for the easy basket. An MVP winner at the Virginia Preps Classic in their victory over Brunswick, a 2A power, stepping up here against the 6A Tigers of Oscar Smith and Nadra Barrio knocking it down again from long distance. Barrio connects again, and now Grafton, as both these offenses have it going in this first half, and Sperling will kick it out to an open three, but the shot is missed, but the rebound put back in, up and in uh, for Isaiah Moore. Younger brother of former Grafton star Elijah Moore, this time Isaiah's shot not good, but Evan Sperling is there with the follow. And 33-26 your lead for Grafton going into the second half. We'll see if Ribeiro and the Tigers can get things going on the offensive end. As he'll try to make his own offense off the dribble, knocks it in for three. Nigel has that ball on the string with a sweet crossover move there. Now he goes there between the legs through the lane and throws it up in for two. Oscar Smith starting to feed off the energy of the crowd there. Trying to ratchet up the defense as well as they double team the corner, but the shot is up and good as that was number 23 for Grafton, knocking it home for three. Clavon Green, he's going to be a good one. Only a sophomore, Chris, as he's got a bright future ahead of him. This Grafton team trying to break the pressure of the Tigers defense. Des Devane swarms him, gets it, and hits it from three. Uh, that's the coaches want, want, don't want a pull up three unless you're going to make it and he is able to make it. So it's 50 to 46 going in the final quarter. We'll see if the Tigers have one more rally in them as Ribeiro passes out to an open Donald Hicks. He'll knock home a three, and the Tigers trail by a point. Like Ribeiro, he's had a couple of 30-plus point games. Evan Sperling in the post, though. He's the workhorse as they get it to him down low, and he gets the bucket there as Grafton, this one going back and forth, trying to pull it out. The Tigers defense again comes up with a much-needed steal. The reverse layup is off the mark. But there's Hicks with the follow, and he puts it up and in. Could be the team who has the ball last that wins this one, Chris, as it goes back and forth down the stretch. Green has it now, gets the screen from Sperling, finds a guy for three, and that's Jacob Morello cashing in. A great run play as Morello coming off the pick was able to get an uncontested look. It's 60 to 57, Tigers down by three. Clippers trying to hold on against that Tigers pressure defense. They're going to find the outlet, and Sperling, and with the left hand, he goes off the glass and gives Grafton a five-point advantage. And that could do it here as Oscar Smith is running out of time. Ribeiro will throw in a three here at the very end, but Grafton pulls it out. Number one in the state in 4A will stay undefeated with the five-point triumph over the Tigers of Oscar Smith. Great win for the Clippers and a great game for both these teams as they are certainly going to be looking toward the next couple months as a chance to be state champions. Grafton with a five-point advantage in the Kings Fork showcase, showcase as Evan Sperling, 27 points, 19 boards. Clavon Green had 19 points and Isaiah Moore, 16 for the Clippers. Nigel Ribeiro, 25 points, hitting five three-pointers.